It ain't no TikTok, it ain't a Vine. It's live from last week, it's episode nine. Let's go. It's a bit unusual, but I am recording from the bathroom just because the fiance is still sleeping post night shift and I don't want to disturb her. Either way, today is going to be a quick clip because work called me in because we're short again tonight. But one thing I did today was buy a new stock. Just bought some Clover Health, so hopefully this will give me good luck in the future. Also, I wanted to do a quick birthday greeting to Priscilla. Feliz cumpleaños and happy birthday. I remember running into you for the first time at Wysyk on the fifth floor roof deck. And it impressed me because you knew that the jersey I had on was from Guadalajara. But anyways, hope you're doing well and feliz cumpleaños otra vez. So today is Ash Wednesday, a time in the Catholic calendar that kicks off the season of Lent. A span of 40 days which symbolizes the 40 days that Jesus spent tempted by the devil in the desert. To signify and practice this event, some Catholics give up something for the whole 40 day season. So this year I've decided to give up chocolates and junk food. So for all you guys that are practicing this event, I'm wishing you best of luck in preparation for the Easter season. So initially, the fiance wanted me to go grocery shopping, but the line was too long, so I'm gonna go here first instead. And I'm so sorry, fiance, but I'm gonna get one of these. A bubble blaster. Luckily, the fiance won't see this video until next week. It says it lights up and blows bubbles, but how does it do that without any batteries? A quick shout out to Indy. These are for you. Happy birthday. I'm joking. She always wanted these when they were out of stock, but now that they're in stock, here are some for you. The fiance is going to kill me when she finds out that instead of going grocery shopping, I'm at Dollarama filling up my cart. Against all advice from my coworkers, I'm going to buy some dollar store pens. For Lent, I got to stay away from this aisle. I got to also stay away from this aisle. And while I'm here, I might as well do some birthday greetings. Happy birthday to Jolene! A girl who I've known since elementary school through to high school, who I've always known to have a positive energy and to be smiling everywhere you see her. Anyways, Jolene, hope you have a happy birthday and you have a good one. Also want to wish a happy birthday to Miko. Knowing this guy through one of my Ryerson classmates, Elena, and remembering the time we all went to Mandarin for that nursing gathering a couple years back. It was great to catch up with you then. Say hi to Elena for me. And you stay safe and healthy out there, Miko. Happy birthday. I like how I finally made it to no frills. And my cart is full of stuff that the fiance said not to get. Basically, I'm just going up and down the aisles asking myself, what am I here for? These are so tempting. But must not, because it's Lent. The fiance specifically gave me a shopping list to abide to. Doesn't look like I listen. Yeah, I totally don't know if all this will fit in my bag. Only got another 20 minute walk and I'll be right home. So guys, just wanted to let you know that today was a very tough day in the stock market. Especially for me, because everything that I owned went red. And it's kind of frustrating because I really don't know when to pull my stocks out and just take it for a loss. Just letting you know that for each success story, there's always others that are losing money. But for those that are losing money, keep your head up. Because today might be a correction day and there's always tomorrow to look forward to. And to help me get my mind off the stocks today, I did something relaxing. I looked out the window and I saw an air show. So keeping on the good notes, I want to do a couple of birthday shoutouts today. 
Want to wish a happy birthday to Sarah. I remember the time I went to Vegas with a couple of cousins and meeting up with you and your family there. And also adding to your one post on Facebook that one time. Just wishing you a happy birthday and I hope you're staying safe and healthy right now. I also have a birthday greeting to Eugene. I'm remembering the fun times that we had at the holiday surgical parties when you were back in Canada. But now that you're in Germany and doing food blogs, that's amazing. You keep that up. Just wishing you, Eugene, a happy birthday and I hope you're staying safe over there in Europe. So before the first of my three night shifts tonight, just want to share with you guys some news. I finally got fed up with the losses and I sold my Blackberry stock. And of course, just my luck, it goes right back up after I sell it. But it does kind of suck because that's $150 in losses that I just took just now. But for some good news, and after months of waiting, I finally got an email to get my COVID vaccine. So I went ahead and booked an appointment so I can get a shot after my night shift on Sunday morning. Going into the second of my set of three night shifts tonight, I realized when I come home in the morning, I'm going to have a sore arm. The reason you ask is because I'm getting the first of my two COVID vaccines in the morning. Continuing on the good news, I've got some birthday greetings. I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Mara. One of my former co-workers that I used to hang out and party with outside of work. And I'm remembering the time when we threw you a party with our former co-workers when you were moving out of your condo near the Rogers Center. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, Mara, and you have a happy birthday. Also wanted to wish a happy birthday to Penstone. I'm remembering the time when we were in high school, drama class, and this guy would always crack us up with his jokes. Definitely a guy with a great sense of humor. Hope you're keeping that up, and you have a happy birthday, Penstone. Last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to Luigi. I've known this guy since university in his FSAT days, and this guy has been represented internationally in martial arts. Your videos and your posts are so inspirational. Hope you're keeping it up and you have a great one, Luigi. Happy birthday. Just finished my night shift and I'm about to go get my first COVID shot. It's 10 a.m. Just heading home post night shift as well as post COVID vaccine, and so far, no side effects except for a sore arm. Or was there? But in all seriousness, all I have is a sore arm, which is expected after getting a needle there. But before I take my post night shift nap, I got a birthday greeting to Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. This guy was our Airbnb host when we were in New Orleans a couple years back. I appreciate seeing your posts on Facebook about New Orleans, a city that you're very passionate about. And I just wanna thank you for your hospitality, Ryan. Hope you have a great birthday. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. In case you guys didn't know, I'm pretty excited tonight because the fiance has made some homemade vegetarian lasagna. It's coming up to the end of the episode and I haven't given you guys a lesson yet. So right now, it's time for the lesson of the week.
also wanted to give you guys a couple birthday shout outs. Happy birthday, Siraj! After meeting this guy at the beach this summer, I've been playing with him every so often. And it's amazing because when you play beach volleyball with this guy, it seems like he can dig anything. Anyway, Siraj, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. Also, I got a birthday greeting to Shannon. Talking to her through my university career, it seemed like she was always destined to be a great nurse. And seeing the great successes that you've had in your nursing career so far is very inspirational and I look up to that. So I just want to say happy birthday again, Shannon. Hope you have a good one and you're staying safe out there. So anyways, before I go and enjoy the fiance's vegetarian lasagna tonight, we're going to wrap it up. Feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to see more future videos from Jay Walker POV. So thanks again for watching guys, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.